Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Praise ye the Lord. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Come on, let us exalt his name together. Hallelujah. We give God the highest praise. Amen. I'm excited today. I hope you can tell uh, just about the privilege of being able to go to God in prayer. I'm growing in my gratitude as uh, I pray for you and praying that you too would grow in your gratitude uh, for God and for God's people. That's the uh, focus of our daily devotional is growing in gratitude. And we're going to read a passage of scripture today and just lift up uh, our prayer request and prayer desires to God today. I pray you're enjoying this prayer series. And if you are, please subscribe to the channel and share the channel with somebody else as prayer is so important to the life of the church and to the life of the believer. And I believe God wants us to pray for one another and to pray with one another. And today we're going to be praying. This again is day number 19. And we're going to be praying from 1 Thessalonians chapter 1 and verse 2. 1 Thessalonians chapter 1 and verse 2. Here's what the word of God says. We give thanks to God always for you all making mention of you in our prayers. Amen. We give thanks to God always for you all, making mention of you in our prayers. Amen. Amen. Today, we're going to go to God in prayer, and we're going to be praying for other people. Certainly, there is a requirement, and and, and God tells us we can pray for ourselves in prayer, and we can pray for the needs that we have. In fact, God tells us to bring us our bring him our cares and concerns and lay it at his altar and leave it there. We can find grace and help in our time of need at God's altar. But a God also requires of us and ask us to pray for other people. And so today we're going to just pray for other people. I'm going to pray for you who are a part of our prayer ministry, a part of this prayer series. I'm going to lift you up in prayer and I want you to also lift up different people that may be on your prayer list today. And as we pray one for another, I believe God hears us and is going to answer us as we pray for other people. Come on, let's go to God in prayer. Lord, we love you today and we honor you and bless and praise your holy name. Lord, we thank you that you are Elohim. You are the creative God. You are the God of all creation. Lord, you are God all by yourself. You are sovereign. You are almighty. You are all powerful. There's no other God beside you or before you or above you. And so, God, we come bowing before your presence. We come acknowledging you as the Lord of lords and the King of kings. Lord, we come acknowledging you as the Savior of our souls and the lover of our souls. God, we come acknowledging you as the life giving King. Jesus Christ, we thank you for your sacrifice on Calvary's cross and the blood that was shed for the forgiveness and the remission of our sins. Lord, we thank you for filling us with your Holy Spirit. We thank you for giving us your word and your truth. And we pray, Lord God, now that you would anoint us to trust you for blessings in the lives of other people. Lord God, today we come lifting up those that you have placed in ministry with us, those that you have placed us in family with, and those that you have placed us in fellowship with. Lord, we give thanks for so many people. Lord, I thank you for my wife and my children. I thank you for the ministry staff here at the New Horizons Church. I thank you for our ministry leaders and those that make up the congregation of the New Horizons Church. Lord, I thank you for those that are part of our uh, prayer ministry and this daily devotional, Lord. I may not know them by name, but you do. And I just lift them up to you even right now in Jesus' name. Wherever they sit, stand, or lay, God, I pray your hand of blessing and your hand of protection, your hand of favor would be up on them. Lord, I pray that you would guard their hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Lord, I pray you would order their steps in your word. Lord, I pray you would open up their spiritual eyes that when they read your word today, they would see wonderful things in your law. Lord, I pray that if there's any sin that they've committed against you, Lord, I pray they would confess it to you. I pray they would agree with you that it is sin and that you are not pleased with the sin that is in our life. 
And I pray, Lord God, as they confess their sins and we confess our sins to you, that you would be faithful and just to forgive us and purify them of all unrighteousness. Lord, I intercede on behalf of those who are without Christ in their life. And I pray, Lord God, today that they will come to a saving knowledge of you. I pray that they will confess that Jesus died on the cross and believe that you raised him from the dead and that they would be saved. I pray, Lord God, that someone who is not saved will call upon the name of the Lord and you would make good on your promise that whoever calls upon your name will be saved. Lord, I pray you would add to the church daily today those that are being saved. Lord, I pray for those that don't have enough food on their table that you would supply every one of their needs according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. I pray for somebody who is sick at home or sick in a hospital bed or having to go to work and not feeling their best, God. I pray you would heal their body from the crown of their heads to the soles of their feet. Lord, I pray for someone who has turmoil in their family, that the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will guard their hearts, their minds, and their homes in Christ Jesus. Lord, I pray for somebody that needs direction, that they would trust you with all of their heart, that they would not lean to their own understanding in all of their ways, they would acknowledge you, and oh God, you would direct their pathway. I pray, Lord God, that your word would be a lamp unto their feet and a light unto their pathway. I pray, God, they would hide your word in their hearts that they might not sin against you. Lord, I pray for our children and our grandchildren. I pray for our young people, God, that they would not be led astray, but that they would be trained up in the way that they should go. And when they get older, God, they would not depart from it. I pray for our elderly, God. I pray for the most vulnerable among us, God. I pray for those that would be uh, victims of crime and, and, and different violent acts, God, that you would send angels of protection to post up around their apartments and their homes and their bedsides, God, and you would let no hurt, harm, or danger come to them this day. Lord, I lift up to you our leaders and churches and businesses and community and government, God, that you would lead them, that we might be able to lead peaceable lives in this season that we're in. Lord, we lift up those that are connected to our ministry, both near and far, and I pray a blessing upon their life that would change their life forever and ever and ever. And God, we are thankful, so grateful to you for the privilege of prayer and the power of prayer. Continue to grow our hearts that we might continue to have hearts of gratitude, of gratitude and attitudes of gratitude toward you. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Again, today was day number 20, and our scripture was 1 Thessalonians chapter 1 and verse 2. We give thanks to God always for you all, making mention of you in our prayers. Listen, I love you. I'm going to continue to pray for you throughout the rest of this day as I do always, and we look forward to being back on with you again tomorrow. Be victorious. God bless.